When your plants reward you with some fruit, it's pretty amazing. This plant last year, I planted it way back in the shade and it obviously didn't like the shade. It grew out of the shade. And this year, it is rewarding me with this beautiful red artichoke. It looks so delicious. And I just want you to know, it's a teeny tiny little thing. You see, compared to my hand, it's just a teeny tiny little thing. It looks like a artichoke from the grocery store, except for um, it's pointed. We have three. Do you see that? One, two, three artichokes. That is a meal. The artichokes starting to open up some, and the ants are going in there. I just washed them off. And they're going back in there so I am going to harvest this one here and cook it up here will be for my little hummingbird I'm not gonna eat the little ones hopefully next year I'll get more they're so pretty see what happened after I cut off that center artichoke which was the biggest these little teeny tiny itty bitty artichokes grew on the side of these other artichokes and um these ones have got they've sized up to where they're full size now just like the ones that i ate i'm telling you guys if you can find somebody who grows these artichokes if you live in a warm enough climate to grow them they are so delicious and tender and this is when you want to pick them when they open up just a little bit like this they are the leaves just feel so soft and tender they are the most beautiful artichoke. They hardly have any choke in them. These are Romanian red artichokes, and as you can see, they are actually red. I am leaving these two to the hummingbirds, because hummingbirds like the flowers of the artichoke, as do bees. These are actually thistles, so they have sharp thistles. I am trying to show you the little baby artichoke. The bees will like that, so you got to think of everybody I ate one and um, I'm very happy that this one plant is giving me uh, five artichokes oh, great. I got the soil in there these are peppers they're just throwing a few in there they'll go where they want it. a few of these Eggplant seed, violet, lunga. I'm just dispersing the seeds kind of evenly throughout the pot. These seeds uh, won't grow if they're too close to the pepper seeds, so it's a little tricky thing that I do. And I just kind of gingerly pick a spot on one side of this very large pot and I am placing the eggplant seeds. Voila, it's done. You can see the lighter colored pepper seeds on one side and it's more difficult to see the darker uh, brown eggplant seeds. I'm struggling with these. We'll do the okra seed. These are big seeds. There's not much you can do with those. I'm just going to throw them out here. Okay. You see them? I'm not very precise with it because the seed go where they want to go. You can't make seed do anything but what it wants to do. And then I'll grab some of these these are the rhubarb seeds pretty aren't they I'm just gonna scatter those in there yeah i know this is a funny way of doing it not, not very precise but how many rhubarb plant do i really need lastly i have the pumpkin seed now these have a pretty good germination rate so i'm gonna put them out separate because I want six to end up with these. Thank you, Mom.
kale for her smoothie. Finally got those kales big enough to pick. I'm gonna take my peanuts. And just pop them around. My three sisters, I use peanuts instead of beans or peas. <laughs> leave them whole and now I'm going to cover this with dirt to the top okay then I'm just gonna water it in see the thing sinks down more and I'm going to cover this bad boy. You can hear the birds thinking as soon as I leave they're eating my peanuts and pumpkin, but I know I'm going to put this in the garage. Nine days later, May 3rd, and the only thing I can see up are the Amish pie squash. I think that's the right name for my pumpkins. But um, that's them. They just came up. Probably in, they might have they probably came up starting like a day or two ago because they're getting pretty tall. They're reaching for the sun. There are peanuts in here. So I cannot leave this out unattended. But I'm gonna go put this pot in the sun while I'm out in the garden and hard. So there's my pot. It's an overcast day. And um Looks like even that one second of putting them out, they look a little greener already. So maybe by the end of my drinking my coffee, they'll have a little greenness to them. I think I'll give them an hour or two today. But I'm hopefully going to do better with pumpkins this year. I got pumpkins last year, but my soil is not that nutrient dense. And the pumpkins were the size of my hands. The pumpkins from this particular thing can give you like huge pumpkins so that's what I'm going for again this year some of you guys were like oh she put a lot of seeds in that pot and you see the pumpkin is getting about to get its second leaf I'm trying to show it to you first one's pretty satiated there but they're right there the second leaf is coming up the okra they were struggling because I put way too much water in this pot to germinate the rest of the seeds but they're getting their color on now okra can take a little water so it didn't take them out and that's peanuts right there that is a peanut coming up I want to show you the way the peanuts burst they burst on the scene you would think they were this huge tree they come up with all of these. Uh, Moringa is in the peanut family, and it comes up like this too. Very, very strong. But Moringa is a huge tree. The peanut just acts like it is. You see this mound of soil that's coming up here? That's being first forced up by a peanut. Yeah, that peanut is taking the soil like that. Now I've got another one here. I'm trying to show you. See that little leaf set there? I don't know what that one is, but it must be attractive to something because the leaf has been eaten halfway down. I will have many more of these. Those are just the first leaf to set. I don't know which one it is. I'm hoping it's the rhubarb. It's definitely not pepper. So I, I'm guessing it's the first rhubarb to come that's where my little pot is today oh the rest I, I did good these are old pumpkin seed these are from last year and I thought I was just gonna get that one which I was grateful to but I got this one and I think that's a pumpkin right there too so did good with the pumpkin these are my Amish pie pumpkin oh they're so good hopefully this year I'll be blessed. I'm supposed to have these in the ground by June, and it is mid-May. Whoa. Alrighty. 
These pumpkin look about ready to put in the ground, so I'm going to go prepare the ground for them because um, once they are up and running, you got to work with them. These peanut are ready to put in the ground too. The okra looks like it could take another day or maybe another couple days, but I'm going to go prepare the ground for the right. pumpkins. It's time to start planting out some stuff out of this pot. First thing I'm planting is these pumpkin here. Yeah, the pumpkin, you wanna get them while they're little. It's just easier for them. And I'm sticking this trowel down in here and lifting out the pumpkin there. I'm gonna go back in with my hands and take So there are the roots on her. Still in my hand, you can see the peanuts have come out of the shell and there's some okra there as well so there's the star of the show and i'm gonna just cart these guys over here as gentle as i can be with them okay plant them up. so this is my gardening technique here i got my little plant here i'm just gonna trowel in here just like that not really much to it there are other plants that will come up in the shade I hit the rocks some plant growing in the rocks and as soon as I get that to hit the rocks I just put soil around it yep that's it that's the soil it's been growing in all this time. And I heal up as it grows. So there we go. I'm gonna do that three more times. And my sure. favorite store-bought artichokes. They're from a much more mature plant than mine. And these are my homegrown artichoke. I'm gonna cook them both up. Now these are female artichokes, so they don't have any thorns on them. My artichoke that is the first harvest from this bush, I planted it last year, is a male artichoke and that's why it has those thorns on it. I'm gonna trim these. I just use a pair of kitchen shears. Just taking off each of these thorns. I will put my thorns back in the garden. No, I'll put that. Once you get to the top there, you just cut off that. Okay, it's so tender, and then I get to the top, and I just cut it off. In one fell swoop. Anything left there? Just getting the thorns on. I meant to make it even. That one looks edible and delicious. In the pot, and one hour from now, with a cover on it, I can eat them. Oh, just so you know, you can cook artichokes in the microwave the same way you do a potato. Easy peasy. And we'll see if that purple turns green. See if there's a difference in the taste of homegrown and store-bought. I know that the store-bought is delicious. Never got a chance to try my own home. I think I can see a hint of purple in my purple artichoke. This one was green. You can see the green is taking over. And that flavor in the pot there. Look at that. Every bit of it is tender and delicious. Mm. The flavor is more concentrated in my little one than the ones from the store. Mm. It's delicious. Well, if you have room um, in your ornamental garden, artichokes are pretty good.